Now, mentioning that, I highly recommend understanding and learning about annotative text. We're not going to dive into it in today's video, but annotative text is a huge time saver within AutoCAD. Regardless of the text size and model space, if your annotation and annotative text settings are set correctly, no matter what scale you change your viewports to, the text is going to remain the same size. You can see it matches even though we've zoomed in in this one and we're zoomed out in this one. This is a great way to keep things looking the same side by side and having text not be huge when you've zoomed into one area. It'll scale automatically. You can see if we change out, the text scales back up. And if we zoom in to say one quarter, it scales back down. So this keeps everything looking nice, even if you want to zoom in on a specific area. And if you want a view showing no text, you can also do that by removing the annotative scale associated with that scale. So if we select all of our, or even if we just select one for an example here and right click, you can see the annotative object scale. If we delete the current scale, from these two and hit enter. Now those two pieces of text no longer have this scale associated with them, so they will not show up. This is a great way to get picky and choosy about which dimensions or notes or text show up in which viewports, and that's by removing the scale of that viewport from the list.